The human body is nothing short of complex. With hundreds of bones, muscles, tissue, etc., doctors and other scientific experts are continually learning about the human form and how it functions. Recent research has uncovered unusual evidence surrounding mysterious skulls from the past, looking at the rare deformities in order to draw upon conclusions. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three puzzling and mysterious skulls. New Evidence About the Paracas Skulls The first skull we're discussing is the new evidence surrounding elongated Paracas skulls. These skulls were first discovered in the Paracas region of Peru, a desert on the south coast of the country. Julio Tello, a Peruvian archaeologist, was the first to discover these astonishing skulls in 1928. What initially stood out as the most unusual among the skulls was that they were the longest and most protracted skulls to have ever been seen before. Over 300 were found, dating back to between 2,000 and 3,000 years old. It wasn't until 2014 when preliminary DNA testing revealed unusual findings. It showed that they have mitochondrial DNA with strange mutations that has not been seen in animals or humans before. The elongated skulls were just the tip of the iceberg. Whilst skulls may become elongated due to deformities or applying force on the skull for a long period of time, this was certainly not the case with the Paracas skulls. A researcher by the name of Lama Zuli took note of more than a few characteristics that don't fit the norm for a standard human skull. The eye sockets were found to be much larger, the cheekbones were much more pronounced, and the skulls weighed 60% more than that of a normal human skull. He also looked to a specific point of the skull known as the foramen magnum. On a human skull, it's situated closer to the jawline, whereas it was closer to the back of the skull on the Paracas ones. After studying over 1,000 skulls, archaeologists also noted that the foramen magnum was smaller, leading to them to theorize that it's a genetic trait. This led to further research and discovery of the Paracas skulls, investigating every part in great detail. Experts eventually noticed that they were missing a sagittal suture, which is found on all human skulls and is a piece of tissue that connects the two parietal bones in the skull. Although not all Paracas skulls were devoid of a sagittal suture, most didn't appear to have one at all. This brought upon more confusion and intrigue to those involved in the research. As research continued, three skulls were used to sample DNA, one of which was an infant dating back 800 to 2000 years ago. Hair and bone powder were extracted from the foramen magnum whilst wearing protective clothing to ensure the samples wouldn't be contaminated. The samples were sent to three different labs in Canada and the United States, and the geneticists weren't given many details to reduce the risk of creating preconceived notions about the skulls. The DNA results were nothing short of fascinating. They came back explaining that one of the samples found that the hair samples weren't a sequence found in human DNA. However, the other samples were showing they come mostly from Eastern Europe and some from Western Europe. When looking at the bone powder, they found that it originated from Mesopotamia, otherwise known as Syria. So, what does this information mean? Essentially, it tells us that human migration was more complex than what we previously thought. It also points to the possibility that people from Europe and the Middle East made their way to the Americas a lot sooner than we had previously held true. It may still take many years before experts are able to provide an adequate explanation for the unusual findings among the Paracas skulls, so we'll have to draw our own conclusions for now. Who knows, maybe this discovery will bring about more news and provide us with the insight needed to better understand the human race and our untraceable history. Russian archaeologists find elongated skull with perfect teeth. The next discovery involves elongated skulls similar to the Paracas skulls, only this time the findings were even more unnerving. A female skeleton was found with an astonishing set of teeth that had been preserved for between 1700 and 2000 years. 
This skeleton was found in Russia at a 4,000-year-old site, Arcane, that is often referred to as Russia's Stonehenge. The site is home to the remains of a structure, and it has become a hotspot for psychics, clairvoyance, and more. Before discovering the skull at Arcane, many visitors had unusual experiences there, describing hallucinations and strange anomalies. People have even claimed to see UFOs at the site, bringing others along in hopes that they could see UFOs as well. Since purposely elongating skulls is a practice from the past, by using force or a wrap to mould a child or baby's head, finding an elongated skull isn't all that mysterious. Many have tried to claim the skulls are from aliens, due to their unique look but researchers know this to be false. With that being said, no one is quite sure why cranial deformation was practiced thousands of years ago. Some potential theories consist of using it for men to look more masculine or perhaps to distinguish between a higher social class. Elongated skulls are found in many ancient civilizations, but it still does not provide an answer for how a full set of teeth was preserved over that many years. When trying to determine if the skeleton was from the original Arcane civilization, they used radiocarbon dating and found it came from a significantly earlier time. The woman was believed to have come from a tribe known as the Sarmatians, but there isn't enough evidence to prove that this is correct at the moment. It's almost impossible to believe that her teeth could stay intact for such a long period without modern methods of preservation. Do you think it's possible that the woman's teeth could have stayed preserved for nearly 2,000 years? At this time, we don't have the full story behind the teeth, and we may never know how it could be conceivable. All we can do for now is play with the existing theories as experts work to unravel the mystery. Skull Anomalies – The Sealand Skull the final skull anomaly we're going to discuss is what is commonly known as the Sealand Skull. This is by far the most controversial skull that has been discovered recently. Found in 2007 in Denmark by workers who were fixing pipes and sewers, the Sealand Skull has continued to haunt many. By 2010, it was examined for the first time by the College of Veterinary Medicine in Denmark. Researchers and experts alike were perplexed by the skull and unable to determine what species it was. Many features differ greatly to that of a human skull, with large and differently spaced eye sockets, a smaller nose and a smaller jaw. It was originally assumed to belong to a horse, but further research proved that could not have been the case. Further research was completed and revealed that the skull dates back to somewhere between 1200 and 1280 BC. Experts had trouble connecting the skull to other objects near where it was found and started to look more closely at its features for answers. It's much larger than a typical male human head, and the unusual eye sockets suggest that the creature proposes it may have been nocturnal. Some hypothesized that it could be from an alien that lived on Earth which is not the most believable. Other experts have guessed that it was from a forgotten species of humans, given how far it dates back in history. Maybe these unusual features seem strange in comparison to modern human form, but it could have been normal thousands of years ago. Whilst that may be a perfectly legitimate answer to the question of what species this skull belongs to, not everyone is convinced. The village it was found in and nearby villages are said to be very mysterious and believe that it isn't a human skull. Where do you stand on the argument? Do you think that the skull is from a long-standing human species that once existed and we're only now discovering? Or is it perhaps from an extraterrestrial being that lived on our planet? Maybe it was neither. But this is one mystery where we probably won't ever be able to crack the code. Are there more mysterious skulls to discover in the future? After diving into the phenomenal world of skull anomalies, it's clear we still don't know enough about humanity and the people from the past. These discoveries still remain a mystery, and we're working towards answers, but no one can say when those will come. While we've made strides in our recent discoveries, who's to say that they won't raise further questions? We've never known more than we do at this point in time as science continues to progress so it's likely that in time we'll be much further ahead.
But what do you make of these mysterious and puzzling skulls? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.